Right, this is an unboxing of the Up Mini 2. Um, we're going to be doing some more videos on this printer in the upcoming weeks. I've always been a die-hard uh, RepRap user, but uh, I think the time's come for something that's uh, a bit more out of the package. So I've got my tools uh, and we'll open her up. Okay, so we're in, there's a box within a box. So the idea behind this is that it is an all-in-one printer with filament holder and it's more akin to some kind of home appliance than some of the more Heath Robinson things I've had in the past. So in here, there's all the things that you supposedly need to run your 3D printer. Heatproof gloves, can't say I'd ever use one of those. Bowden tube and some different fittings, a USB cable, filament head, we'll look at that in a second. Power adapter, power cable with UK plug, scraper and side strips along with a high-tech calibration card. In addition to the box of tools, we have some up-branded filament, uh, yellow ABS Plus, which is the uh, the ABS with great mechanical strength, supposedly. Some more PLA, just a different colour by the looks of things. And irritatingly, these printers only um, provide their rolls on 500 gram spools, so it's trying to lock you in. So whether I end up going down the route of trying to make some kind of spool winder, I don't know. Perforated board, which is sort of like strip board, and it does look like circuit board material. And there we are, warning hot surface. Have a heated bed with the mouse mat type material on that I tested out with the MakerBot 2. And another piece of perf board. I hope that means they're not a consumable. Quick start guide, and this is probably an out of date, an out of date version of the PDF. Right, and on to the main event. Hear it? Hang on a minute. So inside the box are two main packages, filament holder and 3D printer. So we'll take a look at the filament holder first. So here we are, filament holder with the famous tool tray. I'm a big fan of stuff like this. Even though it's such a simple touch, without the nice design of it, you end up with tools absolutely everywhere. So this is the annoying 500 gram filament filament caddy. I'll take the tape off. Right, here we have it. Little rubber feet on the bottom. Injection molded plastic. Really quite substantial actually. And as we say we've got a tool tray. And inside filament hole. I believe it comes supplied with 500 grams of ABS, white ABS. Packaged up with some uh, silica gel, and that's the Tier Time brand, the Up Feeler. Thankfully, it doesn't have any of this NFC nonsense or RFID. They've just tried to make it brand only by making it a stupid size. So, inside there, we've got some rollers, which is quite a nice design and a little rubber grommet to help the uh, the Bowden tube, I guess, come out of there. Okay, on to the main event. This is the up Mini, sort of looks like a PC tower. Um, aluminium handle, um, which I'll almost probably never use. I've got doors, front. Oh, another, another board, that's good. That is making me think that they might be consumable though and the door to the rear as well. Okay, so a bit of a better look inside. Um, lots of injection molded plastic, really nicely finished, feels really good quality. Um, there's the HEPA filter under that cover and not sure if you can see down here. There's this strange coupling, I've never seen that before. But uh, it could just be used as a belt tensioner. In fact, it is just used as a belt tensioner. Step a motor there. And at the top, various micro switches. I know some printers have uh, started using opto sensors. But uh, this does look like a really well produced unit. And critically, you can seal it up. So, this is a really nice touch. Accessibility and magnets. I freaking love magnets. That just comes apart and you can see right inside your little plastic spaghetti maker. 
power button on the side. One thing I've noticed, oh, it catches there. That's a shame. So it does make that front door feel a little bit plasticky. Which is accurate, I suppose, because it's plastic. But uh, excellent visibility inside. And the final goodie we've got is the extruder head. So, in here, the, we have, oh, what I've seen is a 3D printed one on various other videos. That looks injection molded. Nope, it's not injection molded. It's 3D printed with a bit of gaming mat stuck on the front. What a clever idea to make your part look a bit more professional. That's a lovely finish. 3D printing. Because I imagine the tooling cost for an injection molded part like that would cost a small fortune. Ribbon cable on the top. Fan, which vents down here for the printer of PLA. Uh, we've got cartridge style heating element. Oh, is that an LED? That makes things look a bit better in the printer and enclosure. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. Oh, that's a vent. <laughs> that's a vent for allowing that's high tech isn't it well quite a clever design that allows you to block off the uh, the fan air perhaps switching the fan off in the software would be a better idea but maybe it has dual purpose maybe it also cools the hot end as for the hot end all we can see is a heat brake stepper motor can't actually see much of the hot end design but at some point i imagine i'll be taking this thing apart to unbox it, so we'll have a look then. Um, that's a nice unit. I haven't read the instructions, but how hard can it be? Right then, you'll notice the bit that locates on the actual um, the carriage mount isn't 3D printed, injection molded, probably a good sign. I was actually wondering how on earth this was gonna have any kind of positive fit without any fasteners. But in theory, this thing just clips on. Oh, very nice. And it clicks, that's always a good or a bad sign, one of the two. And it's just a case of putting the ribbon cable in. And that is the Up Mini 3D. So we're going to be doing a lot more with the Up Mini 2 in coming weeks, including a one week review, which is going to be next week's 5 Minute Friday. So if you like these videos, you like 3D printing, home CNC, and hobbyist projects, do like, subscribe and comment.